the double helical model which was proposed by Watson at Crick includes the concept that the two strands are complementary to each other. That is, the uh, in a DNA duplex, the two strands, they are complementary to each other. Thus, each strand in principle serve as the template for making its own partner during replication. So, during replication, these two two complementary strands, they uh, get separated and each of that strand can make its own uh, complementary strand. Uh, a number of models uh, were proposed to explain the mode of replication in DNA. But the semi-conservative model for DNA replication is the correct one. The Watson and Crick model for DNA replication proposed that the two parental strands separate and then each strand serve as a template for the synthesis of progeny strand. This was uh, proposed by Watson and Crick during their, uh, uh, when they proposed DNA model. So this type of uh, uh, replication is called semi-conservative replication because each daughter duplex has one parental strand and one new strand. So uh, it means that uh, one of the parental strands is conserved in the daughter duplex. So in the daughter duplex, uh, there are two strands. One of the, those strands is parental strand, which is conserved strand. And the other one is a newly synthesized strand. So that's why this is called semi-conservative replication. So in this uh, diagram, you can see when a DNA replicate, it makes two new DNA. And in the new DNA duplex, one strand, as you can see this blue one, this is parental strand. And the other, which is light green in color, this strand is new one. So in each duplex, in this duplex as well, the DNA is composed of one parental strand and one new strand. Similarly, in the next cycle of replication, you can see again in this duplex one strand is parental and one is newly synthesized. Similarly in all these DNA strands one strand is parental and the other one is synthesized, newly synthesized. So this is called semi-conservative replication. Another potential mechanism which explains the mode of uh, DNA replication is conservative replication. So in the conservative uh, model, uh, the two parental strands stay together and somehow produce another daughter helix with two completely new strands. So uh, according to this model, the two, uh, two strands in a DNA molecule, they don't get separate and uh, they, they make two new strands. So the newly synthesized DNA molecule is completely new. So this is called conserved replication. That is, in uh, uh, one of the uh, newly uh, strand, the DNA parental strain is totally conserved. As you can see in this uh, uh, demonstration, uh, you can see uh, this is... Uh, double helical model and after replication this strand is completely newly synthesized while these two strands are completely conserved. Similarly in the next cycle one is newly synthesized and one is conserved. One is newly synthesized and one is conserved. So this is called conserved replication, conserved model of DNA replication. Yet another possibility is dispersive replication. So according to this mechanism, the DNA becomes fragmented so that new and old DNAs coexist in the same strand after replication. So according to this model, uh, a molecule of DNA that becomes fragmented 
it is uh, uh, divided into different uh, pieces and then new pieces are synthesized. So uh, this is called dispersive replication. As you can see in this uh, figure, this is a, a parental strand and uh, after replication, this strand and as well as this uh, DNA molecule, these two molecules both contain some of the segments from original parental DNA molecule and some segments are newly synthesized. Similarly, in the next cycle again, some of the segments in this molecule are uh, parental while some are newly synthesized. So, this type of uh, replication uh, model is called dispersive replication.